okay guys, you own a Huawei device, but you want your Google contacts and events to be synced with your Huawei device. This is very hard to do because you know was a problem with Huawei and Google. But today I have a fix for that. Just follow my video. This is my P40 Pro and I will show you how we can sync our contacts with our Google account. And the most important thing here is we will sync the contacts, but they will sync constantly with my Google account. So the idea here is if I add a contact in my Huawei device, it will appear in my Google account. If I put a calendar event here on my Huawei device, it will appear in my Google account and vice versa. If in my Google account, I will add a contact, it will appear here on my Huawei device. For me, this is very important because I use simultaneously both devices, a device which is using Google services and Huawei device without Google services. So let's move on. Okay, to start, we will need first to prepare our Google account. And the most important thing here is to enable two steps verification for our Google account. If you don't have one enabled, just you need to do this now. Let's just go to our browser and do this. Go here and first when you open Google, you need to sign in your account. Just tap here sign in and enter your Google account. All right, enter your password, of course. And now we are in our Google account. So right here, Google enabled two step verification. Just tap on it and it will point you to the page where you can do this. Turn on two-step verification. With two-step verification, also called two-factor authentication, you can add an extra layer of security to your account in case your password is stolen. Open your Google account. In the navigation panel, select security under sign in to Google, select two-step verification. So open your Google account. Here it is, security. And when you scroll down, you will see that two-step verification. It's off now. You need to tap here and select get started. So here, let's set up your phone. You can select that two-step verification to be with a text message or phone call. So just enter your phone number and tap next and two-step verification will be enabled for your account. Guys, do this before we continue further. So guys, when your two-step verification is enabled, you need to go to that web address, myaccount.google.com slash app passwords. That's it. Of course, link will be in video description. So let's just tap go. And here on that menu, you have two options, select app and select device. For selecting app, you need to select contacts. All right, I will do this. Remember, before that step, your two-step verification need to be enabled. And after that, when you're selecting a device, you can select here the option other custom name. So tap here for other and name it. For example, Huawei contacts or something like this. And tap generate and a password will be generated. Remember that password, copy it. It is very, very important. Just remember and copy that password. So when you are ready with that password, we can continue further and download the application that we need. So open app gallery and search for the app DAVX5. This is the application that we need. This is very important. It's not free. It's for euro, but this will do our life very, very easy. Of course, link for the application will be in video description. You can also download the application, for example, from AppDroid. Here it is. Just scroll down. You will find here download APK and select download. Let it download and install it. Download X5. Allow it and install. We are ready with the application. Just tap open. Give it 
the permissions this is very important without the permissions this application can't work so contact permission calendar permission and so on move next we are ready when you tap here on the plus sign you need to select here that advanced login base url that's very important advanced login is a must so when you are here in the base url just copy that link paste here that link of course guys remember this will be in video description all the links will be in video description so here when you paste that link just delete this triple x and put here your account i will delete it and put my account at gmail.com slash events that's it this is very important remove the, tri the triple x and just put here your account when you paste it select here use username and password here for username just put here your email account i will just copy it from here copy it and just paste here remember guys for username put your gmail account for a password just paste here the password we previously generate from our google account this is very important don't put your password to enter your gmail but the password for app passwords which we create in the previous step just paste it here when you are ready just select login when the screen appears just select here that option create account and from here enable that option address book in card DAF and in call DAF also enable that option that's it two options should be enabled now just select here a sync and it will start synchronizing when it's ready and you tap synchronize just go to your contacts tap here and select settings here select display preferences and select your davx5 address book so it will be showing only that or of course you can select all your contacts but this is important to select here a davx contact because it will show you your google contact and guys you can see what is the result my google contacts are here even with the pictures this is very important all the pictures are synchronized here these pictures are still not synchronized but now they are in the process and will be synchronized after a minute and now you can see all of them are synchronized and i have even the pictures for my contacts and of course even for my calendar events i will just create a calendar event now okay i'm here on my galaxy device and i will just create an event course be sure to create it for the same gmail account i will just add a title just tap save and it should now be ready to sync with my google account here on my huawei device before we continue i will also open contacts here for the same account and we'll just create one more account so i will check Will it be synced here with my Huawei device or not? So let's just tap on plus sign. Here is the same account and just create a contact test one, a phone number and just tap save. That's it. This contact is now created here. Let's move to our Huawei device. When you open your Huawei calendar, just tap here, select manage accounts and be sure that your account, Gmail account is added here. If it's not synced automatically, probably your DAVX application is queued by Huawei. So enable background process 
and remove uh, battery optimizations for that application. Here is the account and just tap here on the sync button if it's not already synchronized. So address book and calendar should be synchronized now. And what we have here, our test one calendar event is appearing here. Super. Let's go to our contacts and check if we have the new contact added here. And here it is test one. Our new added contact is here. And also guys, important thing here is when I tap on the plus sign, remember, select here DAVX and create new contact. I will create one, test two. Let's put a number here and just create it. That's it. It is already created, test two. Remember to give all the permissions to that application because it will be every time queued by your Huawei device. So in disable battery optimizations for that application, synchronize it. It should be synchronized, everything should be fine. Let's check if that contact is appearing here on our Galaxy device. It is syncing now. Until it's syncing, let's find the contacts. Here it is, test one. And what we have, test two contact is also created with the same numbers. That's it. That was the only thing which I missed from Huawei devices, but now we can use it here on our Huawei devices. Just sync your contacts and your calendar events between Google account and your Huawei device and you will be happy as me. Thanks for watching this video. If this video helps you somehow, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos. Have a nice day.